Now, many people at this point of time have been speculating and trying to understand the psyche of President Vladimir Putin. What is he likely to do next? and what his actual goal is in this war in Ukraine. And if Ukraine does indeed fall to Russia, what will Vladimir Putin do next? And how will he seek to counter the crippling sanctions that are being imposed by the West? Our correspondent Jody Cohen, in fact, spoke to a political analyst, Arye Kovler, and this is what he had to say. Arie, thank you for speaking with Weon. Now, you've written extensively about what you think will happen after the battle for Ukraine. So my first question to you is, do you expect Ukraine to fall? I think many people have been surprised so far by the will and resolve of the Ukrainian people. Ukrainian people have put up um, an extraordinary fight so far. And, and on the other side, it looks like the Russian military is, is rather less organised, equipped and, and ready to fight. Than, than many have predicted. But ultimately, I, I think that there's a numbers game here. Russia has an enormous uh, ability to draw upon soldiers, military equipment, uh, just the scale of the challenge. Um, I, I don't think it's viable uh, for Ukrainian cities to, to stand in the face of, of what we've seen the Russian military is willing to do. Um, the stiffer the resistance they put up, the more willing the Russians are going to be to use uh, really extreme bombing, um, begin to attack civilian areas, uh, artillery. Uh, and I think, you know, ultimately, assuming the, that the Russians continue fighting, that they will take heavy losses, but it's only maybe a matter of time before Russia, Russia begins to occupy Ukraine. All that said, it's not going to be an easy occupation. It won't be an end to the war by any means. Um, and I think that it will be extremely difficult, challenging and, and bloody. Russia to hold those Ukrainian cities in the face of uh, guerrilla insurgency and urban warfare. But I do think that more likely than not, the ultimately Russia will, will hold, will take those cities, even if it will struggle to hold them. Some analysts say President Putin's endgame is not Ukraine, but to counter America by spreading Russia's reach across Europe. Do you agree with this analysis? I think it's very hard to get into the mind of Putin. For a long time, that the kind of mainstream view was, you know, it's essentially Russia is a, a, a mafia state, a criminal empire, and it's all about money. I think it's very clear now that that's not the case. This was about money. Nothing would make any sense right now. Um, Putin's motivations for, for what he's doing in Ukraine are clearly something bigger, more ideological to him. Uh, now... I don't want to get too much into the Russian mindset, but you know, there is this kind of fear, paranoia, the, the 20th century will replay itself and the invaders will come again from the West, like we saw in the First and Second World Wars and, and, and even earlier. Uh, but um, the distinction between uh, him, him wanting to take Ukraine and then say it's all done and then Germany wanting to counter the West, it's, it's not so easy to draw because if it's the latter, then Ukraine won't be enough, then, then there'll have to be more, because ultimately we didn't want NATO on its border. Once you expand to take Ukraine, you have a lot more NATO states right on your border. Do you think President Putin would have done things differently if he'd known the global reaction this invasion was going to prompt? I suspect that Putin and the small number of confidence he has around him were surprised by the scale and the speed of the international sanctions um, and global reaction that we've seen so far. I suspect it's broader and more intense than what they have planned for. Um, and and maybe in the coming days, it will become yet broader and yet more intense. That said, um, it's not so completely off the map that this shouldn't have been part of his planning scenarios. And OK, we've got to these very, very intense sanctions in just a couple of days, but we would have got here eventually after a couple of weeks or months, or if it succeeded in taking Ukraine. So in that sense, I don't think it would have made much difference um, if he'd have believed some of the threats that the, the Western powers and the other countries opposing, opposing his aggression in Ukraine would have made, because they must have been factored in. I think we, it's pretty clear we'd have got to this level of sanctions eventually. So I, presumably Putin has priced this in and has decided it's a price worth paying, even if that means essentially closing Russia off to the entire world, the collapse of their economy, 
uh, the removal of their of their academic classes who were looking to flee the country uh, and and you know a kind of long term inward looking North Korea style isolation. This is presumably factored in. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.